happen? How long have I been out? The last thing I remember are you is using the time machine. It usually takes me a little lightheaded, but never anything like this oh, makes no. mistakes. My time machine, it's it's completely broken. No! Oh, okay, so this is a new recording for me, the last episode. <sighs> I'm I'm excited. Like what's gonna happen? Oh. No, 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 no. My time machine. It's blown to bits. Sometimes I'm confused because he like some some things he reads and some he doesn't. So I never know. Do I start to read now or not? There's no putting this back together. It's nothing but chart parts and burning embers. Boop. This time machine looks pretty banged up. Wow, everything that comes here is banged up. My own time machine's busted, so I guess this my this is my only ticket out. All I have to do is press the button. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, here goes nothing. Hmm. Something's wrong. The control panel is open. It looks like something is missing. Okay, but I guess we should do something here before we get out of here. Let's look around. The terminal is sunk halfway into the ground. It looks incredibly old. The screen and pretty much everything else is missing. Oh man. Ew! My feet, they're wet! I can't see anything over here. Ah, the usual problem. Boop! It looks like a power generator. I'm flipping the switch, but it's not coming on. Maybe it's out of fuel? Hmm, no. There's no tank on it. Well, there's a cable going here, so... <sighs> it's cold! Refreshing. <laughs> okay. Um, what is this? Just a hole in the wall? That's where the button was. Yeah, where are we now? It's like way further into the future, isn't it? Uh, okay, anything else? So you gotta go through here. <gasps> Half buried door and a lot of soil. Ooh, what should we do with it? Let's plant another tree. Yeah, there are palm trees here now. Where's my apple tree? There's a lot of dirt and rubble in the way. I can't get in. I need to get the stuff out of the way. Okay, window. I can't see a thing through this. The grime must be half an inch thick. Ew! Oh my god, this looks like there could be dinosaurs here. <gasps> what if dinosaurs came back after humanity got extinguished? Ooh! Let's see about some dinosaurs. Oh, is that another time machine over there? Spherical contraption. Wow, is this another time machine? It, it looks totally different, besides the fact that it's completely falling apart. I mean, it must have been here for quite a while. Hmm. I can't seem to figure out how this works. It's got lights, but no buttons. It seems to be attached to that big checkerboard thing next to it. Oop! It's... I don't really know what it is. It looks like some kind of really impractical ki kitchen table. It says Berman... what? Berman something? It's really dirty, but still gives off a groovy <laughs> colored shine. Okay. This would look really great if it just... Uh, if I just cleaned it up. It's... okay. Berman solar. Uh huh, it's a solar panel. A shovel. It's rusty, but it'll do. No, oh, no, it's a grave, and I can't click on it. What good is a grave that I can't click on? Okay. Ooh, thick roots. I'm not unhappy with my waistline, but there's no way I'm squeezing through here. <clears throat> Man, these roots are tough. They don't even bend when I push them. 
I would say we shovel away the dirt. Run, 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 run! Okay, here it is. Work it. There, all clear. Wow, he just needed one swoop. Person in hazmat suit. I'm stealing this! Other than a piece of cloth, this first aid kit uh, has been picked clean. No! I can probably find some use for this cloth. Yeah, like cleaning a solar panel. It's a block of concrete. The surface is slightly rough to the touch. This looks like part of a wall or something. This whole place seems to be coming apart. Ooh, touch it again. Rough to the touch. Hello. Ah! <laughs> okay. Creepy. You'd think I'd be used to seeing dead people by now, but this one really got to me for some reason. But did you, like, take the gas mask? He's wearing the same suit I saw in those photos on the wall back in the lab. I'm just going to let this guy rest in peace. His gas mask. You took it. I saw it. Oh, the cryotube. It's... I think this one is one of the cryotubes. But this place looks hundreds of years old. Maybe more. What year did I end up in? Yeah, where are we? When are we? Uh, another window. Oh, right. It's the same one. Haha, <laughs> what am I saying? Can we also clean this? Why mess up a perfectly good rag? I already know what's outside. Yes, 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 yes. You just make fun of me and my stupid ideas. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's clean this up. It's not making much of a difference. It's still really dirty. No! No! Why? Stop being dirty! Mm. <laughs> Can I clean this from outside? Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Can I do something with this? Hmm. Why can't I clean the solar panel with this? Oh wait, I remember there was the water thing in here, the dripping water. Guess we gotta do this. The cloth is now soaking wet. Perfect for cleaning. Run, run, run. <laughs> so much running here. Herpy derp derp derp. There. Clean it. It's your job. Ah! Uh, wait, something happened. Ooh, I get it. It's a big solar thing. Like one on my time machine. Yes. It seems to be running now. I wonder what it's powering. Come on, dude! You know what it's powering. The power of love. Oh no, he's coughing. Why was he coughing? Was that supposed to be that way? I'm not sure. Oh! Uh, what is that in the wall? Oh my god. Is he alive? What on earth? He's... How is that even possible? Wait, there's something sticking out of his backpack. It looks like a rusty machete. This is without a doubt the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. He's dead, but how did he get stuck in a wall like that? What is this? Can we cut him open? It did him nothing good while he was alive, so he won't be missing it now, I'm sure. Okay, this is like really freaky. Ew, what if he was alive? What if he would like talk to us? Like, help? Help me! Okay, let's cut the roots. 
I still want to touch the grave or do something with it. Okay. Hiya! <laughs> I couldn't cut paper with this thing. I'll need something sharper to cut. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's run back. Now we know what the rough stone is for. Our cool stone. Ching! Wow. Look at that. The machete is much sharper now. This block really did th the trick. Run, 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 run. My mouth feels so slobbery today. I don't know why. It's like... Blah, blah. Shoot, the machete broke. I guess it was rustier than I thought. Oh well. At least I, I cleared myself a way through. Frank. Frank? J Joe. Oh. Uh, please. Need water. What are you? Please. I'll get you some water. Hang in there. Hang in there, man. Where are you going to get you some water? Frank, what are you up to, man? What are you up to? I could also use some water. Maybe when they talk, I'm gonna drink. Drink, drink. The cup is full. But is it completely full? Or only half full? Or half empty? Seems very full. Oof, 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 so much running in this jungle. When are the dinosaurs coming? Here, Frank. Here you go, Frank. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Where are we? I'm not sure. I had no time. I pushed it as far as it'd go. But from what I've been reading, everything gets imprecise the farther you travel. Even your physical location can get messed up. Nobody's been this far. We could be hundreds, maybe thousands of years in the future for all I know. I don't get it. So you're a, a time pilot now? Do I really need to spell it out for you, Joe? I stole it. What? You stole the time machine, but but why? Look, I've got no reason to tell you, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're the last person I'll be sharing anything with anyway. The truth is, I'm a Soviet agent. Cut it out, Frank. I'm not falling for that one again. I'm not joking. Frank, you're just sick, confused. Come on, you can't be. Where's your Russian accent? Joe, I'm an undercover agent deployed by the Kremlin. My job is to fit in. How far do you think I'd get if I went around calling everyone comrade? Uh... My real name is Yuri Barishev. I came to America in my early 20s. I went to school here, worked here, spent nearly 10 years building the foundation of an ordinary life. But the truth is that my life is far from ordinary. I am a spy. I was planted by the Soviet Foreign Intelligence Agency to gather intel on advanced U.S. military research programs. And I started getting my first missions in the mid-60s. At the time, I thought I had built a promising portfolio of leads, but as I started to pursue them, most of them turned out to be worthless. By 1968, I had run out of goodwill with my handlers at the Kremlin. I was a disgrace, and headed for extraction. Desperate for something, anything to report. 
I came across a Canadian company moving large shipments of iridium, osmium, rare metals not typically used in mainstream manufacturing. The buyer turned out to be a government shell, rerouting the materials to unofficial contractors, one of which turned out to be Archon. Having convinced my superiors that I was onto something, I got a job as a janitor. But I didn't dig up much until you showed up. You were a great distraction, giving me plenty of chances to access off-limits areas. And for a while, I was able to scrounge together enough intel to keep the Kremlin happy. My hunch was correct, but I didn't have the full picture. Not yet. The metals were being used to build something unusual, all right. But I just couldn't piece it together. What I found made no sense. Time travel. Doomsday scenarios. It read like bad science fiction. For a while, I thought they were onto me, feeding me bogus information. But as time went on, with security tightening around the labs and no one confronting me, I began to suspect that my intel was legit. But time was running out. With Brezhnev and your President Nixon set to negotiate the Nuclear Disarmament Treaty in a few weeks, my superiors were demanding results. My job on the line, I got desperate and careless. And this morning, I got caught. I was tailing an engineer into an off-limits lab when I bumped into Barney from security. Ironically, management chalked up my trespassing to cluelessness and settled for just firing me. Knowing I wouldn't get another chance, I stole a security badge and snuck back in. I just found the time machine operator's manual when you showed up out of nowhere and nearly screwed it all up. Then it clicked. Not only could I steal the technology, it was the perfect getaway, too. Using the manual, I set the destination as high as it would allow. I figured if I could just get far away, I'd have plenty of time to figure out how to get it back to the motherland, but... Well, I guess you know the rest. Listen, Joe. I'm really sick, and I'm not making it back. But you still can. The time machine has a timer, like a toaster. It's designed to return home unless the timer's reset. I removed the main power supply fuse to keep it from taking off without me. Here. Take it. I have no idea how you got here, and I guess it doesn't matter. Still, despite my mission, a double life, and the deceit, your friendship was always genuine. You're an honest guy, Joe, and I've really enjoyed your company. And now, now, please leave me. The pain's coming back. Oh, oh, it hurts to, to, to talk. Oh, 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 need rest. Damn, what? <laughs> I like how Joe was like, oh yeah, time travel, no problem. And then uh, he just couldn't believe that he was a spy. <laughs> hey, dude. He's unconscious. Oh no. Bonfire. Let's party. The humidity in the air and the heat from the fire is making everything a little heavy in here. It's bright and warm. Okay. Let's go back. But what does this all have- Oh no 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 not again. We're getting sick too. Gotta get out of here. But I wonder what the whole Frank thing has to do with, like, everything. I mean, I guess, oh shit. Oh no, oh no, we should not go back. He said that the last time traveler brought back the sickness that killed the earth. And we're fucking sick. Can we just stay here? Oh no, it wasn't Frank who, who brought the sickness upon the earth. 
it was us. <laughs> no. No. We're gonna kill everyone. Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's kill everyone. There, I inserted the fuse. I just hope it still works. Well, it looks like it worked. Uh, what happened? Did did I pass out again? Oh, the time machine. What happened to it? I don't know. Fragile wall. This wall is cracked from the time machine landing halfway inside it. With a little leverage, I might be able to widen those cracks in the wall. Hey, dead guard. There's there's a key on his belt. Ooh. It's a broken part of the time machine. Oh no! For an organism? What's going on? What What is happening right now? Dude, you're the fucking foreign organism! It's one of the security guards. The blast must have killed him. Oh no! We should just stay in here! Oh god. The door is locked. How do I get out? God, what's happening? I can feel my whole body getting stiff. Oh god. Oh no. Uh. Here we are. Dials. I don't know what they do. I don't think they're important, okay? Oh god, we're fucking slow! <gasps> oh no. No. No, it can't be. The the foreign organism. It, it's it's me. That's what I told you. I brought back the disease. Yes, you did. I'm the one who spreads it. Yes. It it was me all along. Uh-huh. I must have <laughs> brought it back with me. Oh god. I think I'm gonna throw up. Me too. I, I, I can't deal with this. What do I do? Can we lock ourselves up in the in the cryo chamber? Boop. It controls the tubes, but I don't know how to work it. Can we use this? I'm wasting time. There's no key oil here. <coughs> it's empty. Okay. Run! <laughs> or not. Uh, my apple! Let's eat it. <coughs> this is where I planted the apple. Not much use for it now. No! <coughs> this is what's gonna happen to me. And everyone else if I get caught. I feel queasy. Gotta get out. Come on, Joe. You can figure this out. Use your head. Think. Okay, okay, okay. Use, use your head. Even if we have weird stuff in it. Um... We don't even have the picture anymore. It's locked. Can we open it? Oh. Yeah, oh. it fits. What's happening to me? Just turning a key makes my muscles hurt. I can feel my arms and legs starting to get stiff. <coughs> Lester's Cryos Console Operator Guide. I might be able to use this. Now I've got to get away before your security shows up and I start infecting everyone. Uh, I think we're not getting away. I need to get a grip on all of this. A virus kills mankind. Dr. Lemon fights me before it spreads. Oh no! But I get infected and spread the virus. Oh no, you're talking too much! Disengage compression lock. Done. I think I unlocked it. Sorry guys. I was too fast. Okay. Well, you can read it. You can just stop. <coughs> it's open. Get inside, dude. Get inside. You can do it. Close it. Oh god. Hmm. Did we save humanity now? Wow, 
we look like Jesus. <laughs> Where am I? My head. What are these clothes? Oh, we look so fancy. Monitoring equipment. It's a piece of paper with some squiggly lines on it. It looks like one of those polygraph test machines you see on cop shows. Ooh, a box of pins. At least we can run again. Oh man, my joints are sore. Okay. Can't reach up it up there. The doors are locked. It says IKEA next to the handle. <laughs> IKEA sounds Japanese. At least I'm still on Earth. I can't get it open. There's no handle. Ooh, a string. Boop. Hey, that's just like in a hospital. Okay. Mhm. Mm what is happening, computer? What is this place? The last thing I remember is drowning. There was a tube and it was filled with something. I I was very sick. I've got to find someone. Alert the authorities. Oh, is he playing solitaire? It's a terminal of some kind, but nothing like I've ever seen. There's a card game on. It says solitaire. The image is so sharp it almost hurts my eyes. Where's the rest of the screen? Or the computer? Oh. Okay. It's open! Is this one open too? It's not locked! <laughs> so surprising! There's no way I'd be able to guess the combination. Okay. <gasps> oh wow. Agitated man. Whoa there, man. No offense intended. Uh. Okay. Personal space. Right. Got it. Okay, we're not getting that thing. Crutch, I mean. Whoa. Uh, what is all this? Picture frame. Whoops! Damn. Sorry. I really thought this was better fastened. <laughs> From the looks of this room, it would seem uh, kind of pointless to try and put it up again. I don't even- oh, come on! <laughs> hey, a plant! It's a fern. Well, I guess this room does need a refurnishing. No, that's terrible. I should work on my material. <laughs> oh, a chair! There's some sort of gizmo stuck underneath the cushion. It kind of reminds me of those fancy Zenith Space Command TV remote controls. Only this one looks like it's uh, actually from space. There's nothing in there but lint and crumbs. Mm, crumbs. This is a desk lamp, but it's on the floor. Clearly, this guy is not all there. Okay. Can we look at all this cool stuff? Jittery man. No way to escape it. No way out. No way out. No way out. I'm sorry, what? End of days. Scourge and sickness. The cleansing of the earth. The overlords conspired against us, tricked us, made us bring the poison back into the nest like good little ants. Who did? Too late. What's done is done. No backsies. But we must try! Do you hear me? I... Uh, uh... Sure. <laughs> the key to salvation. I've seen it. Felt its color. Know its shape. <laughs> they don't know that I know. Oh no! But I know. I know. Write it! Write it, write it, write it! Before it disappears, write it down before it disappears. Took away my tools. <laughs> I'll forget without my tools. 
Your tools? Pens, paper, they're erasing the slate, forcing me to forget, trying to break my resolve. The persistence of memory, I must repeat, 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 all the time, repeat. Oh, they fear me, cower at the sight of scientific rigor. They know I'm close, so they take away my tools. But I'll show them. The blinding light of the scientific method casts no shadows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Toot, toot, toot. Anything else? Actually, when we came in, I thought it was two people standing here. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, we have a remote control. Can we do anything on the computer? No, doesn't seem like it. Door, piece of paper. Can we give it to the guy? Maybe. Do you want my paper? Need paper to reproduce the key. Need the paper. Gotta have paper. Yes. Paper is good. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Anything else? Why did we drop this? Yeah, but can you do anything with it? Okay. Door, door, door. Cozy chair. Maybe, um, I can remote control him. No, there's no off button. Let's try it on the TV. Let's see if this, hey, it worked. Whoa, hey guy, where are you going? <laughs> well, at least that took care of it, or him. We got a crutch. Now we can get the, wait, there was a, Oh, now he's playing solitaire with his mind. There was a camera here, but we can't click on it. Okay, never mind. Hey, are you having fun? Shirtless man. He's a lot calmer now, but still doesn't look like he's too fond of company. I better leave him alone. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get the pens. Got it. I think most of the pens ended up on top of the closet, but at least I got one down. Got the pen. Let's give it to our new friend. Hey! My dear, then the sword. The pen, the pen, the pen! Are you going to draw something the for key. us? The key! Keep it close. Keep it safe. Bring help. Don't get caught. Save the kingdom, get the girl. Save the kingdom, get the girl. Save the kingdom, get the girl! Uh, sure. <laughs> That's probably some reference again. Boop. Yeah. Uh, hello, doctor. I'm gonna use your computer! One of these weird flat terminal screens again. There's an image of a grassy field. It's so detailed, it almost looks real. One of these... Oh, yeah. We said that before. Table. Um, miss. Nurse? I... Oh, hi there. Goodness. <laughs> you startled me. You could have just knocked. Oh. And it's doctor, actually, Dr. Emma Brown. I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we don't have any files on you, so I don't even know your name. I... it's Joe, ma'am. Oh, call me Emma. We're not so formal here. It's nice to meet you, Joe. I'm sorry, Dr. Brown. I don't know how to say this, but you, everyone here, is in serious danger. I'm very sick, and it's very important you call the authorities and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Take it easy. Deep breaths. There's nothing to be afraid of. How do you feel? I... Okay, I guess. Uh, a little sore. See, you're fine. And the soreness is to be expected. You've undergone muscle therapy. You've been asleep for at least three decades, after all. Maybe even more. What? But wh where am I? What year is this? Easy, Joe. I know it's a lot to take in. It'd be a shock to anyone's system. Haven't been under for as long as you have. It's 2012, and this is the psychiatric ward at St. Genevieve's Hospital. You were brought out of hibernation five weeks ago. Like the others, you were placed in an artificial coma for regenerative muscle therapy and brought here for evaluation and rehab after everything checked out. Oh, God. The tubes. You have to listen to me, Doctor. I I'm dangerously sick. I was carrying something when, when, when I got in. I oh, <laughs> that? Well, that's true. You did all have some kind of flu. Actually, the resident physician did find it peculiar how you had all contracted a type of avian flu that only first appeared in the late 90s, and a new strain at that. In any case, the pathogen was largely dormant due to the extended hibernation. We run very thorough medical checks on all our cryo clients, so we gave you all a shot of our regular cocktail. Cleared it right up before you even came to. So it's... gone? But Archon... Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about all of that. All I know is that the company that froze you went bankrupt back in the early 70s. A victim of industrial sabotage, I think. Anywho, the remaining assets were sold off, and the Cryoform company bought the cryogenics technology. As per ethical requirements, that included all of you who were frozen there. We've been helping rehabilitate Cryoform's clients for the past five years or so. Mostly folks suffering from previously incurable terminal illnesses and heavy wallets. But you didn't hear that from me, hmm? Unfortunately, cryogenics was a little... experimental when you went under. So, while the company's been freezing and reviving clients for quite some time, you had to stay confined to the original equipment. Apparently, a lot of Archon's original documentation was destroyed in a fire. So Cryoform had practically no information on any of you. That's another reason it took so long to figure out how to revive you. Sadly, the others haven't been quite as coherent. They share certain delusions, you know, end of the world, that sort of thing. An unfortunate side effect of Cryogenic's primitive state at the time, I suspect. You, however, seem just fine. Apart from the shock, I mean. So... So I'm not sick? You sure? <laughs> yes, Joe, quite sure. In fact, I see no reason to keep you here. We have an excellent rehabilitation team who'll get you settled into your new life in no time. Just come see me when you're ready to go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> we had some bird flu. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see this. What is this? A few ink spattered pieces of paper. Looks like somebody had an accident with a leaky pen. It's... I'm not sure who that is actually. Colonist Sanders? I probably shouldn't try to open that. Why not? Can we just leave? What happens if we leave? Also, does she have the same voice as the, the Archon assistant in the beginning? So, are we all ready to go? I guess. Oh, don't worry. The rehab team's eager to help get you settled in. I know it may feel a little overwhelming now, but trust me, you'll love it in 2012. Endless opportunities. A whole new lease on life. Speaking of, I happened to catch you on the surveillance monitors a little while ago, and you seem to show excellent problem-solving skills. You like puzzles, Joe? I... Perfect. I'll be sure to mention it to the career coaches. They'll find just the right thing for you.
Okay, so we actually managed to to save the world. Oh well, at least from our bird flu extinction thing. Um, <laughs> and now we live in 2012. Um, <laughs> interesting end. Uh, I, I'm just glad that um, it was all real and that we didn't have this typical ending where we wake up in a psych ward and they're like, ha ha ha, you've been sick the whole time and you imagined everything, but that actually happened, um, except they probably don't know about the time travel. Um, yeah, so I think the game was really cool, it was really fun to play, um, so I can just rec recommend it. Um, it's often, like when it's on sale, I think it's very uh, cheap too. Uh, I think I saw it the other day on uh, for like one euro on on humble store. Um, so yeah, it's it's often on sale I think, and uh, yeah I think it's really fun. I guess it doesn't have like different endings or anything. It's very linear, but uh, yeah, it's it's fun to play. I really like the story. I really like those time travel things, um, and. Uh, I mean, even though there is usually like the, the typical time travel problems, um, like same thing here, haha, we were the one <laughs> who was actually uh, responsible for the end of the world with contracting the virus. Um, but I mean, we fixed it, so they shouldn't be complaining. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I liked the main character. I mean, he was. Um, I don't know how, how fleshed out he was, but uh, yeah, I mean, he, I think he, he was nice. He was uh, a relatable guy, in a way, <laughs> I guess. Um, no, and the music was awesome. I really loved the sound effects and the, this, this whoosh noise whenever we used our time travel device. Um, the, the whole game, I thought it was very atmospheric. And uh, yeah, even though it was linear and, and quite simple, it was really fun to play. And uh, the, the puzzles were quite easy, so you wouldn't really get stuck that much, unless you're me trying to plant an apple. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, buy the game if you want to replay it yourself. And uh, I hope to see you again at another let's play on my channel check out old let's plays if you haven't seen them all and i will uh, start another let's play soon i hope <laughs> and uh, yeah have a nice day 